Well, the tropical storm warning is still in effect and there are still plenty of vacationers enjoying the beaches along the Outer Banks. That's where we find Angelique Arentock, who joins us live from Kitty Hawk with a look at the crowds on this holiday weekend. How's it looking, Angelique? For many of the beach goers here, Tropical Storm Colin is certainly a guest they did not expect on this holiday weekend, but the weather is holding out fairly nicely so far since we arrived this afternoon. We've seen nothing but sunshine. Traffic is really picking up in the surrounding area, too. We saw police officers directing traffic as we drove into Dare County. The new tropical storm developed inland over northeastern South Carolina near Myrtle Beach this morning. The warning area is spread all the way up to the Outer Banks this afternoon and into tomorrow. There is potential for downpours here and there, but even the National Hurricane Center now forecasts rain and gusty winds likely staying offshore. Leaders with the North Carolina Department of Transportation are closely monitoring Collins tracks. And while they don't really expect any major impacts along NC-12, an NCDOT spokesperson tells me they are prepared. We've got equipment staged in various places, uh, P Island, on Hatteras, on Ocracoke, and then we've got some extra here in Manio uh, if we need it. We've got crews on standby ready to go if they're needed. Uh, but again, we're not expecting a lot of impacts with this storm. Ha says the good news is the forecast looks good for Independence Day celebrations on Monday for the Outer Banks. Live in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. All right, Angelique, thanks for that update. Stay safe out there as well. We are deep into hurricane season now as we track the first named storm of the season to impact the East Coast. 13 News Now has a hurricane guide to keep you prepared. You can find the guide on 13newsnow.com or you can simply text the word hurricane to 757-628-6200. It's right there on your screen and we'll send you back a link. You can also send any photos of a storm to that number. Again, the number 757-628-6200. Text that number though, do not call it. And the 13 News Now weather team, of course, will be tracking Tropical Storm Colin all weekend long. You can stick with 13 News Now on air and online for the certified most accurate forecast.